What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B, with another haul video. Not a very big one today. I think it's all just main uh, Midtown stuff, but which is okay, because I'm kind of not feeling it today anyway. Um, little inside tip, it's cold in the comic room, <laughs> and I'm cold. Um, of course, you know, it was 76 degrees for Christmas Day here. And now it's like 30. <laughs> so, so, you know, we, we have all four seasons. It just happens in one day here. or So, um, but it's just my Midtown haul. <clears throat> but like I said, man, I just, just ain't feeling it today for some reason. I, you know, I, I came in here to film my, my video and I, for some reason, I'm just not, just not into it. I don't know why. You ever just get the blahs, man, where, where it's just, you know, you, nothing is exciting anymore. <laughs> it just, I mean, I'm having one of those days. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love my books. I love my channel. I love doing this. It's just a, you just come across it on some days where it's, you just, you just ain't feeling it. Man, I'm kind of not feeling it. You know, it's a small little haul. I didn't get anything. Of course, Christmas holidays, um, you know, kind of, kind of saving back some money. So, so, um, you know, kind of, you had to back off a little bit, but I did get some books. Um, first up, we got House of Slaughter number three. And I think the excitement for this book is kind of starting to, is, is really starting to fade already. Um, people were clamoring for this thing when it first came out and now people are like, eh, you know, cause I mean, it, it's, it's kind of like getting a second printing of a book, you know, it's like, it's ain't something's killing the children. It's just like a spinoff. It's not the same. So I think people have lost their, it's lost its appeal a little bit, but I'll probably get the first five episodes cause <clears throat> just to start it. Now this one, however, it's honestly it's one of those books that when it popped up I was I looked at it and I and I was like I was like that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life and I'm like I'm not buying that and I went no wait no remember what happened before stray dogs who's gonna buy comic books about stray dogs everybody that's who so I was like I'm going to pull the trigger on it. And this time kind of paid off a little bit because, you know, the book's got some attention. People are liking it. And that's uh, Chicken Devil, number three. And next up is, um, I got this one because it is, uh, it's a first appearance. And I know, I know the, superhero who laughs thing has been done to death already but i got it anyway but justice league incarnate number two first appearance of the batwoman who laughs but super demon on the front there that's cool this kind of reminds me um and i wish they would do more of those there was a movie that came out. I don't know if y'all have seen it in the comic book world. Probably more, more of us have heard of it than, than you know, the, uh, the, uh, non comic book collector people have. But there was a movie out called Brightburn and it was, uh, it was like an Elseworlds, uh, Superman story kind of in a way, but it was in a, it was a horror movie. It was fantastic. I loved it. A lot of people saw it didn't like it thought it was crap but i thought it was great it was kind of like what if superman was found by the kents they called him something else in here um, but what if he was found by the little farmers and and instead of growing up to be this wholesome purebred or pure white bread um you know boy scout he decided to Holy crap, I've got abilities. Ain't nobody can tell me shit. And he just decides to be a serial killer instead. Great movie. It's called Brightburn. If you haven't seen it, check it out, man. 
It's a great movie, great horror movie. I wish they would do more, uh, like else world horror type movies about mainstream characters like that. Love to see a Batman horror movie. That'd be awesome. But anyway, that's, I don't know what this kind of reminded me of that, um, movie, that cover. And anyway, uh, next up I've got Robin's number two of six. This is the first full appearance of a female Robin who claims to be the very first protege of Batman, even before Dick Grayson. So I'm, it's a six piece. Um, I haven't read it yet. I, I don't, I'm impatient. I'm, I'm one of them. I want to binge read the whole thing. So I can't just, because if I read one part, and then by the time the next part comes out, I'm going to forget what I read. My reading retention is so horrible. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is why I don't do comic book reviews and movie reviews and stuff. My retention is so horrible. I can tell you, oh, this is a great book, comic book, or this is a great movie. And they'll go, well, tell me about it. What happened in it? And I'm like, well, you know, um, you know, um some stuff happened and, and I, I just am not a articulate enough and or nor is my memory good enough to put it to to do those kind of things. It's just it's weird. I'm I'm just bad. Bad old age man, old age. Anyway, next up we got Gunslinger Spawn number three. I'm gonna pick up probably the first five of these. And this is the first appearance of Dakota, who I guess is a like a family friend uh, ally of uh, of um, of uh, the Simmons family couldn't spit it out I'm tired I just actually just got off work it is it is like about 7 35 7 45 in the morning so I'm really tired 10 hour shift wore out but next up we've got suicide squad king shark number four I don't remember how many of these things there, there are. And I mean, I had to get them because, you know, Squatchy said that this was the savior, King Shark. He's the savior of the DC universe and the new baby Yoda. So I, I'm trying to get them all. Because when your buddy tells you, man, you need spec on this. This is, this is going to be the one. You got to listen to him. That's why, that's why he and Fu have got this collection of Super Sons books that, that Oh, no, wait. They, they didn't buy any of those. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, sleep deprivation is a thing, man. Next up, of course, I'm getting these. Um, Venom, number three. Just the A cover. And last but not least, um, I want to say there's 12 issues of this, but... And I haven't got number five, okay, because... Number five, for some reason, has, um, was recalled, had a printing error. So they are back to print. So number five has actually not come out yet. Not this cover. I guess there's other number fives that have come out. But I'm, I'm, I started on these, and I'm going to finish with them. And that's the uh, Mirka and Dolfo's uh, Sweet Paprika. This is number six. But I'm just going to get the whole set in these pink blank covers because you know um i don't own any blank covers i always never was a fan of the blank covers but for some reason the pink blank ones they just appeal to me and i don't know why so all of them that i got are the pink blank variants <laughs> i don't know tell me what you think in the comments do you think the pink variant uh the pink blank variants are are better than the than the other covers i think so but at any rate that is it that is my haul i mean honestly that was terrible it's i had to run my cake hole for eight books literally eight books and i had to just sit and run my cake hole for for a good few minutes just to make this video you know not be three minutes long um but I uh, hope everyone had a great Christmas. I had a great Christmas. My girlfriend is amazing. She got me a pack of five 
gator guards and I got two of them already. And my only problem is, is that you see over here, I have a, I put, um, or I've got, uh, I put, uh, my, uh, uh, get over here, my Stuart Sager, it's hard to look over there, my <laughs> Stuart Sager, um, uh, Evil Ernie number one, God, a Virgin variant, it got gator guarded. And uh, what else did I put in the gator guard? I put two of them in there so far. Um, man, have I lost it? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's not on the wall, that's why. But I put uh, my Wolverine number one in a Gator Guard. I got three more books to decide which ones go. It's not that I don't have enough books to fill three of them. It's that I got too many books to fill three of them. I need, I swear to God, I need about 100 Gator Guards. So, you know, guys, Gator Guard, you know, we need to really sit and talk about a, we need to, you know, discuss a, um, 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 what do you call a, a um, partnership here, you know, or, or, uh, you need to sponsor my channel or something, you know, I need sponsors I'm, and Gator Guard. I'm thinking, you know, you know, I, 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 I'm thinking you should sponsor my channel. You know, I, I don't need monetary, uh, compensation, no monetary compensation. Just, you know, every month or so, send me a five pack. I mean, come on. I think it sounds reasonable. <laughs> Now, anyway, y'all have heard me talk about Gator Guard before. I, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I would rather have a whole wall of Gator Guards than CGCs. Um, just my opinion. But um, I don't know. I got three more books to put in a Gator Guard, and I can't decide which ones. See, I got all these down here that are definitely Gator Guard worthy that are not in Gator Guards. But I just can't pull the trigger on one. I see, see you got Squatching Foo up there. He might get one. He might get a Gator Guard. You never know. Somewhere. Anyway, all right. I've rambled on and on enough. I'm just bored and want to talk. I should do this. Should have did this live. Huh. Anyway, that's going to do it for my haul video. I appreciate you listening to me yammer on for about nothing for a good 10 minutes <laughs> but anyway do me a favor before you go hit that like button leave a comment subscribe to my channel um and if you can think of any any of your buddies that might like my channel hey share my channel with them and then turn that bell on so you don't miss my new episodes but that is going to do it for this one so we will see you guys in the next one peace